this class we work out one problem on bus admittance matrix form y bus matrix for this system this system consists of two current sources and three inductants this is minus j4 per unit this is minus j2 per unit this is minus j4 per unit the current is 4 angle 45 degrees this is 4 angle 0 degrees the same diagram I convert into a voltage source that is minus 4 into 4 that is 16 minus 45 degrees this is 8 angle minus 90 degrees this is minus J4, this is minus J2, this is minus J4. I can form a Y bus matrix. Here the, all the values are in per unit. Y bus is equal to minus 4 minus J4 minus J4. That is equal to minus J8. This is minus J2 minus J4. That is equal to minus J6. Diagonal elements. There is only one element minus into minus j4 that is equal to plus j4 plus j4 we know that i bus is equal to y bus into v bus so our aim is to find what is the bus voltage v1 and v2 this is e1 e2 we have to find what is v1 v2 therefore v bus is equal to y bus inverse into i bus first we have to find the inverse of y bus we know that 1 divided by AD minus BC into D minus B minus C A. So 1 minus AD minus BC minus J8 into minus J6 minus J4 into J4. That is equal to minus 0.03125. That value into D. This value. D value is minus J6. So we will get J.1875 Again This value This is minus B That is minus B is a minus J4 into Minus 0.03125 That is equal to J.125 Again Minus C That is minus J4 into minus 0.03125 That is equal to J.125 Next is this is A. A is minus J8 into minus 0.03125. That is equal to J.25. That is a Y bus inverse. This is in polar form. We have to convert into rectangular form. 4 angle 45 is equal to 2.83 plus J 2.83. 4 angle 0 is equal to 4 plus J 0. Here V1, V2 is equal to Y bus inverse. This matrix into 2.83 plus J 2.83. 4 plus J0 We can find V1 and V2 V1 is equal to 1.160 angle 117.25 degrees V2 is equal to 1.4 angle 104.65 degrees So in the same problem I add line charging admittance J.05 J.05 The question is calculate the new Y bus matrix and also calculate the bus voltage V1 and V2. We know that this is the old Y bus matrix. Minus J8 plus J4 plus J4 minus J6. When I add line charging impedance, that this diagonal element, minus J8 plus J.05. That is equal to minus J7.95. This diagonal element is J.05 minus J6 that is equal to minus J5.95. The off diagonal element is same J4, J4. This is the new Y bus matrix. Next step I have to calculate V1 and V2. First I have to find the Y bus inverse 1 by AD minus BC minus D minus B minus CA. A. So 1 by AD minus BC is equal to minus 0 0.0319. So minus 0 0.0319 into D minus J6. That is equal to J.191. Similarly I calculate all the values. This is a inverse matrix. 
J point one two eight, J point one two eight, J point two five five. This is the y bus inverse. V one V two is equal to y bus inverse matrix into two point eight three plus J two point eight three four plus J zero. Now I can calculate V one and V two. V one is equal to minus point five four one plus J one point nine five three in rectangular form. In polar form. 1.184 angle 117.19 degrees. So without line charging admittance, V1 is equal to 1.160. Adding line charging admittance, the voltage is slightly increased 1.184. Similarly, V2 is equal to minus 0.362 plus J 1.382 in rectangular form. In polar form, V2 is equal to 1.429 angle 104.68 degrees. So, without line charging admittance, the value is 1.4. With line charging admittance, the value is V2 is equal to 1.429 angle 104.68. So, this value is higher. This value, comparing this value, without line charging admittance, the value is less. With line charging admittance, there is a slight increase in voltage. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.